All right. So we are going to Dremel Dexter's nails. And this is only the second time I've ever tried. But since we are in the COVID-19, he isn't able to go to my stepsister's grooming salon. So we're going to give it a whirl. So the first thing that I did was I did actually trim Dexter's furry feet yesterday. So there is trim as I would like them for a cavalier. And you can see they're a bit long there. Let's see. See how they're getting kind of long? Dexter's nails do grow quite quickly. We actually go to my stepsister salon about twice a week so she can work on them. And I do have my mom for backup. So when you're doing this with your dog, it's always a good idea to have backup so that someone can hold the dog and give them a treat and that sort of thing. But what I like to do first is I'm going to look at his nails and look to see where the white and the quick meet. The quick is the blood vessel that goes from the foot down the nail and so I really don't want to hit that and if you can look at your dog you can look straight on and you can see that if we're not at the quick it's going to be kind of crusty and, and nail like when we start getting to the quick it's going to start getting kind of like a, a circle in the center sort of like if it's a black dog it'll be kind of like black licorice all right I'm also going to be wearing a mask because of all the dust. <laughs> all right, so you can see how Dexter's nails are getting long. And Dexter is a senior with a mobility issue, so we definitely do Dexter in the down position so that he's nice and relaxed, because standing on three feet's always gonna be difficult, and especially for our seniors. <laughs> so here's our Dremel, and I, like I said, I don't normally do Dexter's nails, so I had to go to my stepdad and say, okay, what do you got? And we have, um, our guess is a medium sandpaper. So that's going to depend, obviously, on your dog's nail. Um, I started when I was trying to figure it out with Dexter from the smallest and worked my way up for him. So we're going to go on low. And I'm going to continually look at Dexter's nails. You want to make sure that when you're doing it that the hair is out of the way. I did hear a nice tip where you can actually use a woman's stocking and poke the little nails through it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of hold his toenail and just slowly kind of come up. And I'm just going from the bottom, working my way around. Trying to keep that hair out of the way. Good boy, buddy. And I'm just looking for that quick along the way. Giving Dexter a treat. Make sure I don't sand his nose off. You can do this in stages, too. Then I want to watch that hair. I can go on the top because the top actually has less quick. And let's see, can we see? Oops, let's go down here. I can look down there to see. And I still got some room to go. It's still sandy looking. And get these tops up here. And the nice thing about the Dremel is it will give a smooth nail. I'm going to call that quits because I am starting to see the pink. So that means we're done and we're going to go to the next nail. And again, kind of on the top here. And what did I forget? I should have gave him a snack, right? And I want to make sure that it's not getting hot. So I also touch his foot. Good boy, Dexter. And I got quite a bit here at the top I can get off. And getting the top off is good because it's less drag. So right there I can see him coming in with that quick. And again, I did his nails. My first attempt was maybe a week or two ago, maybe a week ago. 
I want to try to make sure I keep Dexter's foot comfortable and I do more of the moving versus him. And I'm securing the toenail with his pad. Right here I'm kind of doing a little pressure, not hard, but just to help make it not wiggle. And again, let's see if you can see. Can we see? See the little pink coming through? That means I'm getting close to that quick, so we're going to be done. And he still has long nails, you see? <laughs> so it's all that good eating. And Dexter doesn't do a lot of walking on cement for very long because of his mobility issue which is another reason why his nails grow so long so quick. Which is another reason why I go to the salon every couple of weeks. Joko boy Bobby. And again, you can do this in stages. Grandma's over there giving him a neck rub. He seems to be enjoying that. He likes it from Grandma more than me. A good boy. <laughs> I think he's gone. Let's see. <laughs> and Sherry did say that for most dogs, start with the back paws because they don't notice it as much. With Dexter, um, he's been handled so often that he's comfortable with whatever. And for whatever reason, I just always kind of go front to back with everything I do. So my habit kicked in. And I'm not wearing that mask. And there's definitely a lot of dust up here. So probably not a bad idea in the future if I keep doing this. So the little pink is starting to come through. So we're going to switch. Let's see, try to move that hair. And again, if we ever get out shopping, I might have to get a woman's stocking. And you just slip their foot through it, poke their nails through it, and it's supposed to help hold that hair out. And I am, see, right here, I am touching it with my hand every once in a while, too. And as long as I don't stay on my hand, it doesn't hurt. But again, I'm, I'm also making sure that I'm not on there long, so I'm not doing any burning. That's one of the biggest things, I think, with the Dremels, is that it can get hot. And they do make dog versions, too. Um... You just I would just recommend checking the reviews. And they make guards as well. Those can be tricky, Sherry said, because sometimes the hair can get caught up in there. So you just have to kind of go with what's comfortable with you and your dog. Go boy, Bubby. And uh, the sandpaper will depend on your dog's thickness of his nails. Again, we think this is a medium came out of the drawer, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, Dexter is a, he's like, Dexter needs a treat. Dexter is a almost 30 pound large Cavalier, so his nails are actually quite large. I do know that some Cavaliers, when they get their nails done, can use little baby clippers, but not Dexter, so. And again, go small and build up, so we went with a, small grit first and then I saw it wasn't doing anything so we went up and again as I'm doing this I'm just looking for that 
that meat of the nail and when I start to see it come through that's when I switch nails and I'm looking with that quick and it's the same thing with black nails they'll have that little licorice looking bottom too so as long as you're going slow and taking a look he's a good boy <laughs> Gonna have to get the vacuum out afterwards, I see. So there's the little fleshy part of it coming through. <laughs> Hairy monkey. You getting squirmy, Bobby? And I'm sure the vibrations are really weird feeling for them. <laughs> I know. It's okay. And right here I want to make sure that I don't get that pad. So when I'm going back here to when I'm going back here to do the back of the um, nail, I want to make sure I'm not hitting that pad because that would, you know, not feel good. Which I think is part of what Sherry was telling me is that when you have the guards, it's a little harder to get in there and kind of manipulate things. Alright, so we're going to do back feet, so I'm going to turn the Dremel off. I'm going to have to reposition Dexter. Alright, so back paws, which, <laughs> look at him moving, which actually usually are less furry, so. Got to get Tanya's angle. Again, I want to make sure that I don't get this pad right here when I come in. So let's see. <laughs> He's always been a kicker with his back feet, which is really funny because I work so hard on having him have awareness of his back feet. It's a good boy. You're fine. You're fine, Bubba. No, no, no. He probably knows that I'm at a different angle and I'm a little more uncomfortable for whatever reason. They do pick that stuff up. All right, so those little pinkies coming through. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Squirmy, wormy. Should have given my mom a mask. And with everything, as you get more comfortable, I'm sure you're going to go faster. Doesn't take uh, my stepsister as long to do them as me. Oh, buddy. Actually, it's my stepsister's daughter. Michaela. All right. Moving that hair. You took a boy. Okay. He stayed there. He's getting comfortable. <laughs> well, you got some ear visual. That's okay. Everyone likes Dexy's ears. Now, this quick's actually quite long. So that means I can't do it as much. Again, I'm watching where those quicks are versus okay. what I want. And the more you do it, the more often the quicks will start to recede. So if I wanted to come in here, you know, in a couple days and do it again, I'd be able to get some more off. But I'd have to torture my poor mom, Dexie's grandma. He's a good boy. Again, it starts to be that tolerance issue, how long. You're fine. <laughs> Hold still, Bobby. I think it tickles. Yeah. 
so next leggy. <laughs> and I don't want him to sniff it. That'd be the biggest thing for Dexter. Gotta get that hair away. Keep that nail as comfortable as possible. Kind of start in the under, work my way up. Look for those pinks. Once I start seeing the pink flesh, starting to poke through. I mean, you don't want a bloody flesh. Just, you'll just start to kind of see it come through. That's when I stop. Watch those pads. Make sure you don't get them. And I do, and I am securely holding his foot too, so he doesn't kick it out of my hand and I accidentally nick him. And Dexter doesn't have any dew claws, so once this last toe's done, he's done. Of course, I can't see this toe. And then when we're all done, Dexter gets his all done treats. <laughs> that he's gonna eat my whole hands off. All right, so there you have it. There's how to do a Dremel nail trim, and good luck, and please let me know if you have any questions.